So you want to change your name to Dan, but you don't know how to go about doing it. Well, step one, have people start calling you Dan. It'll go a long way. Hey guys, welcome back to us by Kai Today we're back once again taking a look at how to go ahead and create this cool particle system with field weights and, and, and field force fields and yeah. So we need to be able to move them around like there's some wind going on or some cool stuff and make the particles fly all around. Um, so today... That's what we're going to be doing. I um, want to go, go ahead and get started. I'm going to just drag a box over top of everything in the scene here. Hit delete to get rid of it all because obviously we will need a camera for some, you know, if we're rendering things. But just for today's example, for showing you guys some particles, I'm not going to go ahead and um, and render anything. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hit shift A and we'll search for a plane here. Boom. And now let's hit S. Hit S on the keyboard to kind of scale it up a little bit, just slightly like that. Now with that done, I'm going to go to the particles tab. Hit this little plus button. And now we have a particle system here, which is what which is what we want. If I play, you can see that the particles will just immediately go upwards and then they'll just fall down. So you can see they're like, woo, they're like going up and then they fall. That's because we have some gravity on. So if we go down the field weights, you can see the gravity is on 100%. So if we just go ahead and turn that all the way down, then they'll just start floating upwards, which is what we want. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, now we have another problem. You can see they kind of just cut off right here at some kind of invisible line, like they're just being eaten somehow. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but if you scroll up, you can fix this by changing the lifetime. So the lifetime of, the, of all these particles means it only lasts for 50 frames because it's, on, it's set to 50 right now. So if we change this to 200, then these, all of these particles will last for 200 frames. So you can see they'll go past this line right here, and they'll just keep going up and up and up and up and up until 200 frames, which is, which is exactly right here. So then they'll start uh, all dying. Uh, starting on frame 200, which is right exactly at this point right here. So we have 250 frames in the scene. So I'm going to change the end, uh, sorry, the lifetime to 250. There we go. Um, so that's pretty simple and straightforward. Now, with that done, um, there's a couple things we can do here. We can turn up the number of particles and turn them down so we can only make there be 100. So it's less particles. So like it look less like this, like a little bit more um, open and like uh, airy. Or we can add more and we can have 10,000 particles. And then it's like really congested. Um, but either way, we decide to do it. You can see that the um, start and end frame is set to 1 and 200 because that is the way we have it set to. But if we go ahead and change my start frame down here in the timeline to 0 and change the frame start in the particle system to 0, you can see that uh, they'll both start in the same frame now. But now we need, to need, them, need, need them to end on the same frame as well. So let's go ahead and change the end frame to 250 in our particle, sab in our particle uh, tab here. Um, and then we can go ahead and see that particles will be emitted from frame 0 to frame 250, which is the exact time of our scene. So 0 to 250, which is exactly what we want. So I don't want 10,000 frames. I only want maybe about 5,000. Do 5,000. That looks pretty good. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to slightly scale this up a little bit. So just slightly like that. So it's a little bit more uh, big. Um, now, you can see that the particles are kind of just like going straight up. They're not really moving. They're not doing anything cool. We can fix this a couple different ways. We can go ahead and go down to velocity and then turn the normal up a little bit. So they're a little bit faster, slightly. And then we can turn the randomize up as well a little bit. And you can see... Oh, you can see that once we do that and we kind of restart the scene, every time you change the setting, you do have to go back to the beginning of the frame, beginning of the scene. So hit this little this little back button and then just hit play. And you can see now they're kind of like drifting off to the sides a little bit. It's a little bit more, you know, it looks a little bit more natural. Um, we can take this further, though. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, let's go ahead and go down to physics. We can change the Brownian. If we turn the Brownian up, you can see they kind of start wiggling around like this. They're like flies. That's a lot. We turned it up way too much, but you get the idea. They kind of look like uh, gnats or flies or some kind of bugs or something. So if we turn this down to a very like subtle amount, like um, 2, 2.1 or something like that, then they'll have a really natural kind of thing. I'm going to turn the random down a little bit. The random's a little bit too much. Um, randomize. We'll turn it to like 0.1. Yeah. So it's like 0.1, and then you can see the brownie is going to kind of try to try to take over, and you can see they kind of like like snaking upwards, like woo, you know. Um, yeah, that's a, a scientific term is woo, 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 by the way, if you didn't know that, you can look it up, it's actually in the dictionary. Um, so, we can uh, go ahead and get rid of the physics tab now, but the, if you want to change the damp value, the damp value will make it so that the particles will come up a little bit and they'll start to slow down as they go, which looks cool for some things, but um, for, for this, I don't think I'm going to be using that, but I mean, you can do something like this, which looks really cool, so we put in like 0 .20, 0 0.02, sorry, or 0 0.01 on it, rather. Um, and the, the particles kind of like, ooh, like that, you know, it looks pretty sweet. Um, and they kind of stop and slow down once they get to a certain height. 
Um, this this looks good for like some kind of maybe gas or some clouds or something. But um, but yeah, for this, I just want the particles just to free flow up. So we're going to turn that uh, to zero. Nice. With that done, the last thing we can do here is um, actually add this as an add an object to these these particles. So right now, if I scroll in, you can see these like like some kind of spheres, some kind of balls. If I were to render this, you would not be able to see anything. If I go to render viewport shading. Um, well, you'll be able to see them, but you can't, you can't like see them when you render it, like fully render it. Um, but you can't see anything. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to add a camera back in so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, shift a camera and then just hit G and double tap Z to move this camera backwards, upwards. Um, you can see when I render this, you can see nothing. There's nothing there. It's just the plane of the particles. There's nothing there. The reason is because these are just halo objects. So these are what Blender uses to tell you these are where the particles are going to be when you add an object. So we can we can uh, we can actually add an object to these so that they actually look like something. So let's go ahead and hit shift A and search for a oop, and search for an icosphere. You can see we zoom in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit this little box open down at the bottom left and change the subdivisions to one. So they're like, you know, less polygons or less um, vertices so we don't have to worry about uh, the, the the scene lagging because they're small particles we don't need them be, we don't need them to be that detailed so we're gonna go ahead and just hit G um, to move this particle back behind the camera so the camera can't possibly ever see it um, and then go to the material tab hit this little drop down and change this to material there we go nice with that done I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a uh i will leave it on principal bsdf that's fine that's fine that's fine um we'll go ahead and change the color though we'll change the color to like a slight bluish color i guess something like that sure why not um yeah nice so with that done you can see when we click the part the particles again the particle tab you can't click the particles you have to, you have to click the um actual plane let's go back to the particle tab here on the right hand side scroll all the way down to render and then change the render as from halo to object now with that done, we can change the instance object to icosphere. And you can see now when we zoom in, it looks like the icosphere that we have, which is cool. But the problem is that they're all like they all look like you just copy and paste them. They're all exactly the same. So we can fix this by changing the scale randomness. You could turn this scale randomness all the way up or or uh, up however much you want. I'm gonna do all the way or almost all the way, like a point eight kind of thing. Um yeah, so there we go. I'm also gonna turn the scale down a little bit to point zero three because I want them to be a little smaller like that um, maybe even point zero two honestly but yeah something like that um, we can also turn on object a uh, global rotation so you can see like they kind of they kind of rotate a little bit um, but we won't do that we'll go ahead and change the, um, the 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 rotation velocity up here so if you turn on oops, if you turn the rotation on right here this little checkbox open this up you can see that you can turn the random phase up a little bit which is what I'm gonna do so if we play this now um, you can see that some of the particles should be oops, right and that's a good place to pause them some of the particles should be rotated different uh directions which is good so like this one right here this particle is not rotated the same as this one um and these this one isn't and this one isn't you know they're all kind of rotated a little different now if you check dynamic it'll also um it'll also help you out with that a little bit they kind of rotate a little bit and twist around and stuff so which is good so you don't have to worry about them all looking like they're exactly the same now if we were to render this now you can see that you can see that we can see the particles but there's no light in the scene so it's a little hard to see but yeah let's go ahead and grab our camera hit rx move it upwards like that so the particles kind of like come into the sh into the frame you know like maybe like i don't know something like that but um all right, let's, let's, let's let's play it again and then we'll go down to uh render and make sure show emitter is off so we don't see the actual plane because we don't want to see the plane in the render um we can also scroll down and turn on da -da 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 -da. what's i gonna do i forgot i can't believe i've forgotten well can't believe this um uh, let's hit shift a and we'll add in the light that's what i was doing uh point lamp we need a point lamp, so shift A, go down the lamp, and then just turn point lamp right there. I'm going to just go ahead and move this up about right here, um, and then we'll just kind of bump the power up a lot. So then when we play this, you can see that there's a light above all these particles. So you can see that they actually have some light visible on them, which looks really pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so if we pause it right there, you can see we can render this out. And, oh, oh well, let's change the background to black so you can see a little bit easier. There we go, render. You can see we, we can see these particles, which look really, really cool. Um, now I do want to add another another lamp, so we'll put one down here. So it's Shift D, select the lamp, and hit Shift D on your keyboard. Duplicate that, um, and then we'll just select this down here, and then just move it about maybe there, I suppose. Yeah, I'm about like in the middle somewhere. There we go. Pretty cool. Now with that done, you can you should be able to see the particles um, pretty pretty nice and easily, which looks really sweet. 
Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically all that I'm going to do with the particles. But I do want to add in a little bit of a um, a force uh, a force field. So let's go ahead and hit Shift A, and we'll search for a force field, which is down here. So basically, these are like wind effects that you can use on particles to make them look like they've been you know moving around and whatnot. So if we go ahead and turn on, um, uh, let's do magnetic. You can see that if I play this, and we bump the strength of the magnetic up. So strength. You can see they kind of move a little cool. Like, look at this. This is pretty sweet, right? So, um, there we go. Look, they kind of have this, like, cool thing about them. But let's turn the strength down a little bit. It's a little bit too much, obviously. So, we can go ahead and do something like this. And they kind of, like, fold into each other like magnets do, which is really pretty sweet. So, um, that's pretty sweet. There's also one that I like a lot called a vortex, I believe it is. Yeah, vortex. It's like a, like a tornado in a way. So, let's go ahead and turn the strength up. You can see it kind of like, whoa, look at that crazy and we just like make the strength super high so we can make an actual tornado which looks really cool um and i'm gonna go ahead and add in a let's we'll shift a and we'll search for a force field um and we'll do wind and we'll just have the wind strength go up a little bit like that so it kind of pushes upwards so it looks like a tornado now which is really cool so that's really sweet it's like an upside down tornado which looks absolutely insane um so yeah, let's take a look at that. That's like a, it's like a, it's like an upside down tornado. Actually, that's actually so sweet. But yeah, so we can have a bunch of different cool effects like this, and uh, it's they're super easy to do. Obviously, like look, look, look at this. It's just like massively cool. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and grab the vortex and turn that down a little bit because it's a little too strong. Um, I would say. So we'll just turn it to like maybe not even one, like point four or something. I just want them to twist a little bit, you know. A little bit of twistage. That's a little bit too much twistage. We'll just put it on like two or something. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and just uh, da, 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 turbulence. We'll add some turbulence. You know, just you can play around with some different ones. They, look, they, all, they all do something a little different. We'll turn the strength of the turbulence up. This one kind of just makes it so they're a little bit more like free flowing. Yeah, they're kind of like all over the place now, which is what I want. So I want them to look like they're um, kind of just flying around. Let's grab our camera here and we'll hit G to move it down. And then we'll hit RX to rotate like this, RY to rotate it like this, um, RZ to rotate it like this. So yeah, we'll just move it up. I don't want it to be like a, on a regular angle, I want it to be on like an askew angle. So we'll do something kind of crazy like this. Um, and we'll maybe hit SX to scale on the X axis to the plane. Just move some things around, you know. X, S, X, sorry. But yeah, so you can see how we have some nice particles um, kind of just floating around in some nice random directions, which looks pretty cool. Um, I think I might actually want to make this material on this icosphere an, an emissive material. So let's go ahead and turn this rendered viewport shading on. You can see when we play this, you can see the uh, particles coming into view here. I I, I kind of like how they look like this actually. So you know, let's 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 just add another point lamp. And what we'll do is we'll move it like to an area where it would just light up some of the particles, make it look kind of cool. Something like uh, here. Yeah, and maybe one over here as well. And then we'll do some in the foreground. Yeah, we'll just hit Shift D, duplicate these around. Just to kind of light up the particles from different angles to make it look kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't want them all to be solid, like just this a solid emissive color. I want them to kind of, um, I want them to kind of all have like different lighting on them, which looks pretty sweet, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at this now. I think there's something in the in the front here that we're still kind of missing. Yeah, there's some directly in the front. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, something like that, maybe. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So now we render this. You can see that they look pretty uh pretty cool. There's some different lighting on some of them, which looks nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the camera tab. So select, select the camera. Go to the tam camera tab, and then I'm gonna turn the viewport display on, and I'm just gonna turn it all the way up. The passer part too, and turn it all the way up, so we can't uh, see anything we don't need to be seeing. So, all these particles coming in, that looks really sweet. I love it. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. This would be really good snow. This would be really cool snow, um, as well. So that would that would uh, this would look really good if it's upside down. So if we like flip the camera upside down, so like R hit R Y one eighty. On the keyboard, and then just like move this up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. G, Z, move it up like that, and then play this, and then come down. It's like snow. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Um, 
but uh, but yeah so this is uh something that i really enjoy doing i've always loved to make working with particles in blender anyone that's been here for a while we've done a couple of particle tutorials and stuff uh, but i really kind of wanted to just today i wanted to do something um, a little bit more simple i'm going to put some more wind on this and we're going to kind of push it push them up a little bit so let's go to the this tab to the strength up a little bit i don't want them to move too fast but i just want them to go up a bit more than they are we do something like uh like that oh yeah that's what i want there we go that's pretty sweet there we go nice so I like that quite a bit. I do want to maybe bump the contrast of all of this up a little bit. So let's go to the uh, film and turn, uh, sorry, not film, uh, color management and turn um, this from filmic to standard. And then what, we, what I want to do is that'll make them a little bit more bright. And then what I want to do is I kind of do want to add a, um, maybe an area lamp and then move it up about there. Hit R, R, X. Move it like that. Move it back. We'll make it a little bit brighter as well. So we'll turn the the power up to like maybe 200, and turn the size up a little bit as well. So they're kind of like lighting them all a little bit more than they were uh, previously. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a little bit brighter. I like that. That's good. Cool. So that is our. Uh, those are our particles. They look really sweet. It does look like snow or something like that. Um, you can have this. This animation goes as long as you want. Um, unfortunately, you cannot loop particles. And, and just with this regular kind of system, you would have to um, like do some really crazy things because all these values that we've just done, they kind of randomize all the particles. So the particles are just like going wherever. You know, there's not like a set. Oh, I could loop this. But uh, you would you would have to kind of mix two of of these animations together, like and fade them into each other to kind of loop them. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a tutorial for a different day. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.